It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to take a loss as a day trader. A lot of people battle this emotion that you have to always be right. But actually taking a loss is just as right as taking profit. If you're able to cut off your losers, focus on the winners, you can become a profitable day trader. I'm gonna show you guys a live trade this morning. I managed my risk. I got out for a small loss. I then switched short and made a profit. It's all about emotion and understanding that trading is not just simply let's win, win, win. You got to take losses. You have to be consistent with taking your losses. Let's go. I'm gonna try a long right here off the 40s. See if we get a push up here. Tight stop here at the uh, 37s. I move my stop here to 38 to risk a little bit less. See if we can't get this to push through. Not loving how we're not moving right now. Can we push above the 40s here, get back in the green? Target pretty tight on this. It's not really doing what we want. So let's just see if we get a pop up here. Moving my stop to 250, break even, or 250 to get out there. I'm gonna move my target just to 242.25, see if I get filled there. Let's take the green, get out. 42 right there. And stopped out there, just market not moving. Take a short here, see if we can't get a sell down. Looking like it wants to sell down through this 35 level possible. Just recoup that last little loser. Hey, if you guys enjoy these videos, do me one big favor. It really does help me a lot. If you hit that like button, go ahead and hit that like button right now. Hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. So let's get back into it. You can lose, my friends. And see, we'll switch to the, sit, hit the 34s here. Moving my stop to basically break even. There we go, beautiful, getting filled, 34. So you can see at the end of the day, when I'm long or I'm short, it doesn't really matter. But what it comes down to is playing this with tight stops. You know, if I'm sitting here and the market's not moving up, okay, I'm gonna move my stop up a little bit, move my stop up. If we get stopped out, there's probably a reason for that. And we think the market's not gonna push up again through that level. So we're gonna get stopped out for a small loss, stopped out for a $125 loss right there. And then instead of you know holding this and hoping and praying, I'm switching short here at the 38s, taking profit, covering that loss, and still walking away with $200 in profit. We had the one little loser, and then we had our winner that was bigger than our loser. And that's the big focus, right? So I can easily just switch long to short. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and move my stop, make my stop bigger, or I'm not gonna try to force it and make it to a point where I have to take a bigger loss when I don't need to. You know, my original stop was right here. And then as I see that we're not pushing through, I'm gonna move my stop up a little bit, risk less on the trade, goes against me, and I think the market's gonna move down. Okay, I can short here at the 38s. Reason I got covered there at 34 is kind of thinking that we'd kind of dip down in there, looking at the book map right now. You can see there's that support there at the 32, 34 level earlier. And you can see right here, today's profit, my breakdown, right? What's important to focus on? Number one, yes, we are green, but let's focus on something that's very important to focus on. What is my largest winning trade? My largest winning trade is $1,300. What is my largest losing trade? My largest losing trade is $500. Here at my PL, you know, $500 loss, $500 loss, $500 loss. But look at the time on this. How quickly do those losses happen? 17 seconds. I mean, those losses are happening very quickly. You know, I'm getting stopped out, and I'm like, okay, I got stopped out. You know, it's all about keeping my losers very quick, getting in and out, and being done. And then the same thing, if you look at my biggest winner, $1,300, 34 seconds, $750 and 14 seconds, $650 and 43 seconds. So, you know, really my best trades are happening very fast. You know, I'm in, I'm out, take a profit quickly, and it's just, I'm, in, I'm out and in. The issue, I would say that my, the reason that my average winning trade might be a little bit lower on the stats is because of some of the break even trades or some of these trades right here where I just got off a of break even. So it's kind of moving my overall average. But if I didn't have these break even trades, well, then my average winning trade would be a lot more. But in general, you know, the big focus here is thinking about like, hey, like these trades that I lost on, like they happen fast, right? Like I'm in, I'm out. Like there's no reason for me to hope and pray. Like it's, it's just not gonna happen. Like I'm not holding and hoping and praying. Is the trade going against us? Is this not working out? Like we thought we were gonna push up, we didn't push up, okay, perfect. I'm gonna get stopped out for a smaller loss and then I'm gonna look to see if the market's gonna move down and then I possibly get short. I'm not emotionally attached to the trade. I'm not sitting here like praying and hoping and then moving my stop down, not being 
attach to either way. Like if the trade goes against us, perfect. We're stopped out and then we move on to the next trade. We got stopped out, then we take the next trade. We don't sit there and fight it. We don't move our stop loss. We don't try to hold and hope and pray. There's no hoping, there's no praying. We're in, we're out, we're moving our stop, we're getting stopped out, and then we're into the next trade. And we don't think about like, hey, we just lost the last trade. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do now? We keep that just very mechanical in the sense of entering and exiting no matter what. It's okay to be wrong, right? It's okay to take a loss as a day trader. A lot of people battle this emotion that you have to always be right, that you have to always make a profitable trade. But actually, taking a loss is just as right as taking profit. If you're able to cut off your losers, keep them small, focus on the winners, you can become a profitable day trader. The problem is, if you let your losers grow and grow and grow, you're never gonna be consistent. I'm gonna show you guys a live trade this morning. I managed my risk, I got out for a small loss, I then switched short and made a profit. And the thing is, it's all about emotion. It's about understanding that every time you take a loss, it's still, it's part of trading. It's all about emotion and understanding that trading is not just simply, let's win, win, win. You gotta take losses. You have to be consistent with taking your losses. Let's go.